New tonight, never before seen photos of Ghislaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein released in federal court. Jurors are seeing evidence of the pair's close relationship as Maxwell maintains she was just an Epstein employee. Investigative reporter Terry Parker joins us now with more on those photos. And Terry, there was also testimony from another of Epstein's former pilots. Right, the pilot's logbook revealing Ghislaine Maxwell flying out to a Michigan summer camp for talented teens where she allegedly introduced herself to a 14 year old girl. And those photos were seen for the first time show just how close she and Epstein were over the years. The never seen before photos show Ghislaine Maxwell and Jeffrey Epstein in various locations, sometimes with their arms around each other, or most often with Maxwell's arms tightly around Epstein. They traveled the world together for years, beginning in 1991 and continuing their relationship until Epstein's conviction for underage solicitation in Palm Beach County in 2008. Epstein's former house manager testified earlier that Maxwell was definitely the lady of the house and Epstein's number two. Maxwell's lawyers told jurors she was simply one of many employees and was not aware of Epstein's bad acts. But these photos are just some of the intimate moments that prosecutors are showing jurors to dispute that. Wednesday, another one of Jeffrey Epstein's pilots corroborated one of the victim's earlier testimony. David Rogers testifying both Epstein and Maxwell in August 1994 flew back from Michigan, where the first accuser, Jane, testified last week she met the pair at summer camp there when she was 14 and went on to be sexually abused by Epstein for years. The pilot testified he remembered Jane flying on Epstein's plane four times. His logbook showing Maxwell was on each of those flights. And a fourth and final accuser is poised to take the stand at any moment, either late today or more likely tomorrow. And afterward, the government says it may rest its case, the trial moving much more quickly than expected. Maxwell's defense will then get its chance to convince jurors she is not guilty of recruiting, grooming, and abusing teenage girls for Epstein.